Okay, real fast, uh, tonight, um, Monday night, the uh, 23rd, you have a documentary that's taking place. It's premiering on PBS, uh, American, Broad, uh, American Experience. Check your local listings. It's called A Class Apart. Um, it airs 9 p.m., I assume Eastern Standard, but just, just check your, your, um, your local listings. Uh, uh, award-winning producers Carlos Sandoval and Peter Miller took a four-year journey into the past to make this documentary. Now, Dasi, what it's about, um, it is the case of Hernandez, Hernandez versus Texas. The case began in 1951 in the small town of Edna, where Pete Hernandez murdered his boss in a parking lot of a cantina. At the behest of Hernandez's mother, San Antonio attorneys Gus Garcia and Carlos Cadena took the case on. On January 11, 1954, they stood before the nine justices of the Supreme Court where they argued for the full protection of Mexican-Americans under the 14th Amendment. It was the first ever case arguing rights. Uh, for Mexican-Americans. Constitutional rights for Mexican-Americans, not the fact that he was guilty or not. He, he was guilty and later, you know, you know was, was found that it was... Um, whether he be judged by a jury of his own peers, hence meaning Latinos on the jury. Which before... All white. All white. Mm-hmm. And we talked about this, uh, like, how, you know, factually it's a great story, and, you know, it's part of history, and it's wonderful, and, you know, the civil rights strides and everything, but the the characters behind this are amazing. I, I really suggest uh, you checking this out, in particular, the character, you know, the, the man who... Uh, who was the kind of like the main um, lawyer uh, for uh, for this case, um, Gus Garcia, who uh, was the first person ever allowed more time at the Supreme Court to keep talking, and uh, he he as incredible as he was, his character was pretty tragic, and uh, you know and they say all this. I found that that human element way more interesting. Intriguing. Yeah. Cause you know, you know, you know, you know these stories already because they're kind of like history now for us, uh, which is great history and it's important. But uh, the human element that of uh, these tragic the human drama behind yeah, it, that, we're f- these flawed people, man. These this guy getting up there all you know waste. He hung over all all crudo, talking to the justices and then being eloquent. Boom. I find it uh, no disrespect to the Garcia I family. Find it fascinating that the people who often do really amazing things that go outside of, uh, you know, that call to action. People are often really tormented and have a lot of demons they struggle Uh, with. Malcolm X was that too. You know, I mean, he was a, he was a hood. He was a criminal. And I wonder if that has, is linked. You know what I mean? Because like, if you sort of have this tragic quality, then you're Mm -hmm. not going to really like, you're kind of an outsider. And so you're going to think like, you're not going to fall in line with everything. Mm-hmm. You're not going to be okay with the status quo. And so you push mm-hmm. for change. Mm-hmm. And if you can get your, get your act together. Yeah. And, but uh, even after that, mm-hmm. there's still the, the fall. I don't know. I still can't stop thinking about El Cantante of uh, Hector Laveau. You know, yeah. the guy that brought salsa. Yeah, I'm like obsessed after watching that movie. Wow. You know, I, th- I found him so tragic. You know, he died mm-hmm. of AIDS. He died alone. He died penniless. And he did so much for Latino music. Yeah, it's uh, pretty pretty badass. In New York, and and it's and it's just so sad, you know. A lot of the stories. I mean, yeah, that's basically how Gus Garcia passed away, from what I hear. AIDS. No, no. Uh, you know, cirrhosis of the liver oh. and mentally ill, and but at an early age in the '60s, you know, and less than ten years before that, he was deliberating in front of the Supreme Court and getting extra time. He's so yeah. eloquent. That's what yeah. I find. What would you say that they, they, you know, you yeah. get a limited time to speak in mm-hmm. front of the of the uh, justices and then the, the light lights goes on. go on mm-hmm. and apparently the supreme the chief justice chief justice warren a young chief justice warren said you can uh, please keep talking mr garcia and i was just like can you wow. imagine uh what that would have felt like as far as uh, being a career shift and a the honor of that i mean he must have known the impact and the significance of that in that moment I'm sure someone in the, in the house did, you know, and, you know, someone there was a part of that history. So that's tonight, 
It is a, called a class apart. It'll air on PBS American Experience. I'm sure it'll repeat a lot. Those 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 tend to do, um, but it's a. Uh, it should be interesting. Uh, it is. I actually saw it a couple of weeks ago. We saw on a screen here in Austin. Check it out on PBS. Word. Word. Get your learn on. <laughs> For real. For real. For real though. Get, get your slant on. Get your slant on. Get your learn on. Shoot. We'll see you later. There's a grave